Today we're making a photo mosaic. Our objective? To monitor previously outplanted coral. This coral was outplanted on the reef about six months ago. First things first, we have to measure out the perimeter of where we will be collecting photo data. Mike is using a measuring tape to create a perimeter. At each end there will be coded targets, which software recognizes for scale. Then Megan has to start swimming. She must try her best to swim at a constant depth and hold the camera facing down parallel to the reef. The white chains are reference points for Megan. Today we're covering an area of about 100 square meters. Usually, as you see Jim doing here on another day at Sombrero Reef, we use two cameras mounted on PVC pipes. With two cameras, we can collect the same photo data in half the time. The camera has been set to take continuous photos as they swim. In the end, thousands of images will be compiled into one large image. The final composite image will be a detailed photographic map of the reef. When Megan was done with this session of collecting data, this was the resulting very high resolution image. Why do we make photo mosaics? Great question! In order to repopulate the reef effectively, we have to be sure that the processes we use have integrity. We must monitor the corals after outplanning to measure their success. There are many factors affecting the successful growth of coral. Water temperature, acidity, pollutants, storms, disease, and predators. If we have more data, we can identify successful methods despite these threats. Photo mosaics offer an incredible amount of information. We can zoom into the smallest detail in order to observe one piece of coral or track changes in the overall picture to study the entire outplant site. Thanks for joining us today on this photo mosaic guide. Be sure to hit subscribe if you want to know the latest about our methods.